ears. So, um, real Sorry. quick, this is the question. Nothing to show unless you need us to. So, Koru, how did Amato reopen a door that no longer exists? Because the door, by his own admission, is now gone. Uh, to so, be uh, fair, Kamui, we probably should get that manga panel. <laughs> okay. I assume this is talking about Shibai, right? No, it's a different... Uh, okay, so... With Kawaki's karma, I believe. It's explaining uh, the reconstructed karma to Sumeray. So... Yeah. Like, uh, now, again, we want you to take this as literally as possible. <laughs> and then <we> just <laughs> start. I I'll read it to you. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Here, let's liken Kawaki as a vessel to a house. The karma would be the house's door. Ishiki still was the homeowner, but with the door gone, he could no longer enter the house. Meanwhile, his lifespan runs out and still is extinguished. Blah, blah, blah. Do you see it now? Even though it has no door, the house itself still exists. And inside that house, Ishiki's power continues to sleep. I'm not able to set such a thing up from scratch. But reopening the door, that much I can do. So how is a so this is even going worse. to reopen mm. a door? It's even worse because exist? he himself says he can't set it up from scratch. So it's not that the door's shut, it's that the door's missing. So it's not that he's opening a shut door. He is basically refiguring the door from scratch in order to open it. Hmm. <laughs> I always took this to mean that Amato, since Amato says that he can't set up a, such a thing from scratch, that there's some sort of remnant of Kawaki's karma that still existed beyond, like, since at this point, I believe Kawaki is, what, 80% Otsutsuki already? There was some sort of, like, karma remnants that Amato knew how to reconstruct. I think the mystery lies more in the fact that Amato knowing how to reconstruct the karma in the first place is just so bizarre to me considering the fact that, again, he's just, like, some guy. At least well, that's maybe what, he like... Took <laughs> at least, like, what the story has been portraying to us. Even though, like, I think the red flags are there, that Amato isn't obviously just some guy. But, I don't know. The mystery really lies in the fact that he's able to reconstruct Kawaki's karma in the first place. Because, you know, how are you... Like, what mechanism en enables you to do such things. We've seen him implant Shibai cells, which isn't like out of the realm of, you know, that's something Orochimaru could do, right? Um, because he has experience with Hashirama cells, provided Orochimaru has the body of Shibai like Amato did, he'd be able to do similar things. But like doing something like reconstructing a karma, which nobody knows how it works beyond the Otsutsuki, that's where like the mystery hits. Cause you're like, how are you able to do this? How do you know this, right? If you're just who you say you are. I so I actually know did a whole video themselves. explaining all this. Um, I actually no that broke this down, but I want to emphasize that we're talking about the literal part <laughs> for the intro topic. So everything you say, oh yeah, for sure. The point is, how is he reopening a door? How is he opening a door in the first place if the door is not there? That's the question. Because he doesn't say, but rebuilding the door. It's just reopening. It. Reopen it. So the door had to be rebuilt first, but he is claiming he can't do that. So what is what's your theory here? Again, take it literal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm trying to read the text here, but for some reason, my freaking qual—I don't know if it's the stream quality or my actual computer. I can like it's so blurred. Chapter Maybe both. Well, let's see and the inside screen. the house. Oops, I'm looking at all Yo, the could you, Yeah, if you could just Maybe post the actual panel on Discord or something, that'd be <laughs> that a lot better. Too, yeah. Could you do that? One minute. Now, Conway, I do want to get into your video just for, like, Koro's sake, but... Yeah, yeah I uh, can, Basically, I can if I can, like, summarize it really quick in my own words that are probably misremembering your point anyways, it's actually the fact that it wasn't Kawaki that did it, it's that Amado put in his Akabi cells, or her Akabi, you know, he's... So Amado puts in Akebi cells into Kawaki. That doesn't do anything. Kawaki himself puts a karma seal onto himself. Mm. That's close yeah. enough for the uh, point. So yeah. um, 
if you really want, I can like fully break it down. But the general idea is Amato has explained a couple of, th I put the panel in chat, by the way, if you want to read that. But there's a couple yeah. of things Amato t basically tells the reader for what he was doing. He talks about uh, cell fragments and a digitized data aggregate, the Kashikochi is the two things he's bringing. And then he, when he rebuilds Kawaki's hand, he references all I, all I needed was a section of your cell fragments, blah, blah, blah. He was referencing the cell fragments he brought. And as we know, he rebuilt uh, Kawaki's karma when he rebuilt Kawaki's hand. And then he references Akebi's data, probably the data aggregate that he needed as he told Kashi and Koji. So you can see that these are all intertwined and he put it in at that moment. And we know that the karma seal is uh, a compressed data aggregate, which kind of sounds like the same thing as a motto had there. So basically, I think regardless of whether Amato's data aggregate also includes Ashiki's data or Kawaki's data, or it's just a cabbie, doesn't really matter here. The point is he compressed some data and put it in Kawaki, but Amato can't make a karma seal. He's at least allegedly, he's not an Atsuki. He can't do the Shinjutsu. Kawaki, however, believed that he and Boruto could in chapter 56, he brings it up and Amato actually tells the Kawaki in this chapter, like, hey, you know, you guys got a good idea here. I think you could do it, but I think it's a bad idea because it's not gonna help you with what you're actually going for. Implying that they probably can, you know, Kawaki can master chakra signature and blah, blah, blah. He can do these things. So, and Amato really emphasizes that Kawaki's intent, intent was absolutely essential that this wouldn't work unless Kawaki really wanted it. So long story short, it kind of feels like Amato shoved in the data and Kawaki manifested the seal itself because he has the Shinjutsu power. Yeah, I think you're right because reading this panel, Amato does kind of contradict himself by saying he can reopen a door that he can't construct. So yeah. it's like, it, and you mentioned that panel that I was thinking of before you said it, but Kawaki, like without Kawaki's input, in that situation, I forget which chapter it was. It was 66 chapter or 65 when his karma came. 68? Okay. It's when he when says karma... that the intent is essential. 65 oh. is when he re-manifested, though. Yeah. Kawaki needed to... Like, he needed to want the karma. He, like, Amato can do all the work for him, but the karma would not manifest unless Kawaki wanted it. I guess, which you, I didn't actually think of until you brought it up, but I guess the implication from that is that Kawaki was one who restored his own karma in a way. Right, and for reference, oh. if someone like Momoshiki tried to put a karma on himself, I don't think there would be any value in that, if it even can, because yeah. all that data, it would just be the same data. Like, there would be no difference here. Right. He just that that is Momoshiki anyway. Furthermore, I don't know if Momoshiki can do that because in this case, Amato is still implanting the data aggregate into Kawaki. That might be a requirement for this process to occur anyway. So hypothetically, maybe Amato could implant a Momoshiki data aggregate into Momoshiki and then Momoshiki manifests a seal around that data. Maybe that one can work hinged on Amato's influence, but it's also possible that, again, Kawaki's genetic composition is kind of a unique case to where he's both Kawaki and Ishiki can use Ishiki's yeah. power. It's kind of an interesting case that doesn't apply to anyone else anyway. But I do think Amato implanting the data is probably needed for this to do anything because right, you gotta right. apparently convert yourself into data and then replicate it and then implant it into a vessel. I don't think Momoshiki could ever do that to himself. So I think someone's got to put yeah. the data into Momoshiki and then all he can do is put a karma seal around that data. 